Hello and welcome to another edition of AWSP News. Hard to believe that another week of digital principling has flown by, but here we are again. The rapidly changing landscape of the P16 education system is shifting on a daily basis, which is why we continue to provide these weekly updates for you. As you're sitting there listening to me right now, I want to reiterate that it is your voice that continues to help us shape decisions being made at the state level. We are sitting at the table for discussions about mental health, grading, attendance, continuous learning, college admissions, and much, much more. We can't do this without you. So thank you for sharing your challenges, successes, and barriers. Keep it coming. In addition to those of you who reach out to us directly, this last week we had our first round of AWSP office hours for our members. These were open and available to all of you. We took it a step further from the previous week and offered grade level specific office hours so that you can jump in with colleagues to talk about the realities of leading your school digitally. We have a solid plan of continuing this practice for the foreseeable future. So make sure to check our website for the dates and times. This is a great way to connect with colleagues walking in your same shoes. Don't miss out. Another great way to connect with colleagues and continue your learning during this crazy time is to create your own professional network that we pay for. Our Networked Improvement Community Grants application deadline has been moved to May 15th. We have multiple $600 grants for you and your colleagues to learn and grow together and stay connected. Check out the application on our website to learn more. Have questions? Contact Jack Aaron or Chris Sippel in our office. They'd be happy to help with the application and get these funds into your hands as soon as possible. We all know that self-care during this pandemic is important. Our wellness partner, Kaiser Permanente, has lots of resources to help with this. They believe that the best thing we can do is take care of ourselves first so that we can be healthy and strong for our students. This week, we have a self-care bingo activity to share. Check out this bingo card and see how long it might take for you to get one bingo. How about a different bingo? How about a blackout? Challenge your staff members to do the same. I'll send an AWSP Amazon gift card for the first person to tweet or email me their bingo blackout. It's not too late to register for the Equity Through Master Scheduling Creating College Ready Transcripts Workshop with Stephen Gehring, offered by OSPI. See Principal, Principal Matters for details, but don't wait too long. It's next week and 400 educators have already registered. Register now for the Labor and Management Coming Together to Further Outcomes for All Students Workshop, sponsored by CSTEP. Implementing inclusionary practices in school districts takes partnerships, leadership, and communications at all levels of the education system. This online learning session will focus on one particular important education partnership, labor and management. See below for registration information. Space is limited to the first 200 who register. Rick Miller with Kids at Hope has been offering weekly discussions about science and the culture of hope. I can't think of a better time than to pivot your leadership and ground it in the science of hope. Check out the Kids at Hope website for upcoming Hope Talks and stay tuned for additional Hope workshops that we'll be offering in the next few weeks. On Monday, next week from 3 to 4.30, AWSP in partnership with Jostens will be hosting a Zoom discussion with educators about preparing other ideas to support the class of 2020. Just in case we're not able to have traditional graduation and other year-end traditions, it's best to start some contingency planning and next week's discussion is designed just for that. Those who tune in will also get a tour of the Jostens Virtual Commencement Toolkit that is a free resource to all schools and districts. See our website for registration details. We know times are tough out there for kids and family, and as I said at the beginning of this newscast, we are facing unprecedented times. For us here at AWSP, we are also facing the grim reality of financial loss due to canceled programs, as well as the forced closure of your outdoor learning centers, CISPUS and Chewila. We've launched a fundraising campaign to help us bounce along until we can reopen our incredible facilities for kids and other users groups. Check out the links in Principal Matters and help us spread the word on how to make a charitable donation to our learning centers. Well, that's it from all of us here at AWSP. As always, keep up the great work for kids and remember, your voice matters, so keep connecting with us and with each other. See you next week. One take, boom! <laughs> Hope you're ready for the next episode, hey.